Hi friends. Okay, so today we are going to play with black watercolor paper, aqua cold press black, Stonehenge. Um, I bought this because I was going to do a bunch of gouache stuff on it and I kind of played a little, but as you know, I am really, really, really into my Stabilo Carbothello chalk pastel pencils. I'm, I'm having so much fun and I thought, what can I do to switch it up a little bit? And I'm a huge fan of impressionistic work and I love how you can see the dark edges around the, like a flower or a face or, you know, landscapes and treat like that kind of stuff. I love that you can see and I'll show, you'll see what I'm talking about more. But um, I thought it'd be kind of cool because, I mean, these are the colors. These are the gorgeous colors. They're true to the colors here and up against the black. Now, I've already proven to myself and to many of you that on white paper it looks beautiful on tan tone paper. I did this earlier this week. I did this. It's on tanned paper. It's Strathmore. I had so much fun. It's been so much fun. I'm learning and growing. You think oh, it's just chalk pastel, it's no big deal, but you, the more you play with them, the more you learn what they can do and how far they can take you and how quickly, that's the coolest part for me, is how quickly it can change something from, ah, oh, that's okay, to wow. Like example, I did all this and I came back in and I added this turquoise or this teal color right here. This color, you can tell. <laughs> it's my favorite, I use it the most. I came in and I added it here on top of some darker colors and it completely made my heart sing. Sing, I tell you. It's a look, it's a feel, it's something that I've always loved, this combination, and I felt like I finally figured it out. I figured out how to do it. So girl, boy, people, friends, I was super excited, super excited. So I thought, how can I kick it up a notch? I know, I'll do it on black paper. Now this does have a texture. Um, I don't even know if they make, other than a cardstock, if they make actually a hot press or a smooth, I guess, hot press watercolor paper. But I, I tested it a little and it should be fine. I say that because I'm not a huge fan of texture on my papers, but we'll give it a shot and see what we got. Okay, so this is going to be, I'm going to make a fun little portrait with maybe some flowers. Um, but the whole point of this is because I want you guys to, now that you've practiced working on white paper, you know, white cardstock, hot press color, watercolor paper, or even cold press watercolor paper, or tone paper, I want you to try to work on some black paper, or darker. If you have a darker pigmented paper, it doesn't have to be black, it could be just a dark, I don't know, random dark brown color cardstock, or a red even, or an orange, or a deep purple, whatever it is. I really want you guys to play with that and make these colors, these, these right here, these pop. Okay, I should put that back in here. And I'm also going to use um, my generals I just got because I go through these so fast. This looked like this at one point, but because my hands are always dirty with chalk pastel, it now looks darker. But I, I have a few of them because I run through them so fast and I'm going to lay down white. You can lay color down onto here. Let me show you. You can lay color down directly on, which totally works. Let me come in a little, which totally works. I do find that if you start to blend, it kind of goes away a little, but it's not bad because you can build it back up if you want. And, or, sorry, or if you go in first with this in certain areas, or the whole thing, it's totally up to you, it just makes that color even that more and that much more intense. You see the difference? So I will definitely be using m most of these and resharpening them. And I have said many times, because I've worked with these a lot lately, that I have not found a, a pencil sharpener that works super great until I realized that I had this. I totally forgot about my mechanical. I'm always using, or my electric, sorry, my electric pencil sharpener. I'm always using my handhelds, and those weren't really working great for me. This works awesome. It's a tot G, I guess is how you say it, but it's, a, it's an electric uh, pencil sharpener, and it works great. I'm... I've had this for a very long time, so I, I'm pretty sure I got it off of Amazon, but I don't know if they make it anymore, but it works fantastic. So I want to share that with you if you guys are struggling and having the same problem. And I just have my dirty blending stump. I have a cool end and a warm end for what colors I use so I don't get them mixed up. Okay, so let's get started. Easy peasy. It's going to be simple. Simple. Um, I'm going to leave that there so if I want to test something. Um, simple supplies today super but you're going to have a very dynamic piece when we're finished i think i'm going to start out by 
just doing a quick little sketch super light remember if you want light and sketchy which is what I'm going for you just reach to hold the end of your pencil we're not going to do anything super dramatic Okay, so just sketching it out right now. I will be going over this, believe you me, uh, many, many times. Now this is a little different because I'm used to working with the black lines on a white or a toned piece of paper, so it should be interesting to find these again <laughs> once I start adding color. Remember, I really want to have um, the black show through in between my spaces. I really, really, really do. We're going to th throw in some just little random little random flowers. Remember, we're working abstract and we're having fun. This is going to be all about the colors. The two things we're going to focus on, well, three actually, blending, a lot of blending with our fingers and our blending stumps and the, just the colors, laying them on top of each other. We're going to focus on abstract, not taking anything seriously nothing seriously we're just discovering okay and then um having the black show through the black show through in between the um sections i just want to have fun today who doesn't want to have fun every day right just keeping it loose remember our friends keep it loose it's just paper, just pastels, just pastels. Easy peasy. Okay, so now I'm going to stop with instruction because it's pretty self-explanatory at this point. And you'll see what I'm doing and I'm just going to get into the video. Alright guys? Oh, and I always forget because I get so excited about the art part of this and introducing all these materials and everything. If you guys like what you see and are enjoying my How To Tuesdays, please like and subscribe and click that bell so that you get notifications. Like and subscribe and click that bell. And also um, join me over on Next Generation Art on Facebook. It's a group where I throw up three weekly, three weekly challenges at least um, for people as prompts for people to work from. So, and it's a great community, lots of fun. I'm all about, <laughs> I'm all about creating. I'm so bad at the business part of this. I'm so fun. I know it, but I forget it because I get so excited about this and sharing with you guys. So anyways, let's get started. Hi guys. Okay. So I wanted to pop in before you saw the video. Um, a couple things that I noticed with this paper is that when you do several layers, it gets a little, I wouldn't say, I guess it kind of looks like it's getting pilly, but it's not. You can blow it away. It does change the texture a little bit, so I wouldn't go crazy with the colors, with the layers, because it might start to rip the paper. Mind you, this is watercolor paper, so it's not built for pastel and scrubbing and all that kind of stuff. Also, I want you to pay attention to how I held my pencil the whole time. I kind of held it like this. That's not my normal. My normal is this, but I held it like this pretty much the entire thing because I didn't want to run my hand through everything. So, um, just a little tip if some of you are struggling and like how come I keep smearing everything it's not super comfortable but you get used to it honestly you get used to it it's not uh, horrible it's just a, a new way of thinking just you know kind of retraining your brain to not dip your hand in the pastels as you're working because the goal is to not smear because this stuff is pastel it's chalk and it's dusty but it um, it's it's worth it. <laughs> Sorry, I got totally distracted. Okay, so yes, go ahead, go play, have fun. I, once again, love, 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 love what this turned out to be. So I hope you guys do too. And if you don't want to do black paper, don't do black paper. I just thought I'd throw it out there as a challenge um, because it was something I had not done before. Um, when I work in an art studio, and so the art studio, I do like the chalk pastel sticks not pencils so I know and I work on like black construction paper 
very different because the construction paper isn't strong, it's not as rich as this, and it's not as dark as this, and I can't control those sticks near, which is why I've never liked pastels for ever in a day until I discovered that they came in pencil form. And it was a game changer for me. So just wanted to come in and uh, tell you those few tips and now enjoy the video. All right, guys, thank you for being here. Bye.